Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Huey in the mid lane. We're running Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Triple Tonic, and Biscuits. Triple Tonic is a new rune I'll explain once we get one of the tonics at three minutes in. But we're playing Huey. I want to practice him because I think he's going to be my new main. He actually is really fun to play. And they just buffed him too on PvE because he was a little weak. They took away some of the damage from his auto-attacking, made his ult a bit wider, and I think they gave some of his abilities more damage, I'm not 100% sure. But if you didn't know about this champ, he has three abilities on each one of his abilities, besides his ult. So he has ten abilities in total, pretty much. But you can pretty much have unlimited combinations of spells. Well, not unlimited, but you get it. He does eat a lot of mana early, though. That's why I have TP, Biscuits. But to combat that, you can use your W and your E, which restores mana on the three hit. It's like a Nami E. You get three hits on either abilities or autos, and they restore mana. Which does it restore? 45 each time. So you can actually restore more than what the spell costs. His QE is primarily used for wave clear or zoning in teamfight. Act on inspiration when it strikes. They also changed his uh his EW. I always was saying I disliked it, but they just shortened the range on it, but they made it more responsive, it said. This passive is when you hit somebody with an ability. If you hit them with another ability, they explode. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, we got one of the tonics. So we get three tonics throughout the game. This one gives us five true damage on hit to minions. And then when it expires, I get 40 gold. So I may as well just use it now. Get that five true damage on hit and then the 40 gold in like 40 seconds when it's done. It's giving me the klepto vibes of when that was a room. QQ shoots fireball. QW is a long range snipe that's an execute. QE is the the wall that burns. Pull into the snipe, but I missed the snipe. Double again. I'm in trouble. I could fear one of them off of me like that. Oh, I should have just went for the cannon, man. I knew I wouldn't hit him. Uh oh. Fear down a box. I could shield myself with uh, WW. I'll just push this out of here. Okay. Man, I need 150 though. I could try and clear one more wave and sell my potions and I think I'll have enough. I don't think he'll get back fast enough. Did that not do damage? Out of mana. Trying to spam Q. Okay, we got a lost chapter. Now I have some more mana to work with. Plus, I use my biscuits. I get one more biscuit. Ooh, level six, we get an elixir force. I think it gives us like adaptive force for a short duration. Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. Well, I just shove. He's all the way bot. Good. Oh my gosh, I got so many activates. 
20 adaptive force for 60 seconds. So I'd want to use this right when I get into a fight. I'll try this. Okay. Not bad, actually. So, it, the range is shorter, but it actually shot the, the root out when he was out of the circle. Try it again and see what it does. I didn't do it there. <laughs> okay. Aha. Thing of mine. Darn. Oh, that was really short, actually. I thought that goes a lot further. Much wider. Oh, the alt is actually a lot wider. Luna really wants to get me. She won't go. Damn. That did a lot of damage to him there, too. I mean, I just have to assume Leonor Shaco's right here. Oh, he doesn't even have mana. Could have just walked up and got him, maybe. <laughs> it's a pretty low cooldown, actually. If you had a full haste build, you could just uh, spam it and stop somebody from recalling. I mean, it's not as far as a Swain, but it goes pretty far. Like, I'll show you the range. This is the range. That's pretty far, actually. His wave clear is really solid, though. I want him to try and, like, I mean, if he hits the ult, though. When others fall to what is the range of throwing that? I, gather them up. I still think them. using that, the root, is good if somebody's already CC'd. Or, um... Somebody CC'd, or you're running away. Because uh, if you're chasing somebody, it's not going to hit. It's too hard. Ah. You'll never get me. We're going to go Caster's Companion on him. That's pretty much the only good one that works on him. Does the ult burn? You barely have your ult up. I'm cooking this. He has dash, so if it did hit him, he'd just dash out of it. See, Leona bot. My work seeks answers for the most part. If I move to the side like that, I could hit all of them, but I still missed. Uh, what am I doing? Let's try the shield. <laughs> I think he saw Fiddle. Yeah, he might be dead. Wow. Oh, and I get elix Elixir of Skill now. I get one free skill point. Boom. So I get another point in this. I'm not sure if it's better to throw some points in W over E. Let's see. Get good damage. What else gets... Cool down. cool down on W actually uh, doesn't really go down. Look, it goes from 13.85 to 12.31, whereas uh, the E goes down by like 2 or 3 seconds or 3 or 4. I need a lot of spells here. Oh, she knows now. <laughs> she knows not to use the E till she's right on top of me. Oh my god, I can't move. Damn. I clear the whole wave. When did I use... Oh yeah, I used my elixir last fight. 
I like hitting somebody with the fear. That's actually easier easier to hit the alt if they're feared, because it feels like it lasts the longest duration out of all the CC spells he has. Cause this this is like a knockup. It it pulls him in, but it doesn't it's not gonna stun him long. And then the other spell the root, it just it has really short range and it's unreliable. Get this ready to fear this guy. It's right here. I try to protect him. This Seraph, no. I don't want to get near. I'll just snipe from afar and not even get him. You could fear someone with a fireball kind of thing and then just shoot another fireball at him. He's going to try and use that Seraphine ult on me. <laughs> You're not going to get me. Chew. Oh, thanks. I don't know if that saved me, but she's around. Alright, what I would go second is either Shadow Flame or Storm Surge. This guy is pretty bursty, and Storm Surge does synergize pretty darn well with his, uh... His passive, because he already has, like, a Storm Surge on his passive. So, I, I'll go Storm Surge second. Try it out. Hey, Leona's like always mid, but she's also, every time I look bot, she's still bot lane. That's actually pretty strong. <laughs> He's one in three. But I get a guaranteed W if I, uh, brood him. I have no small build. Oh my god. That does more and more damage the lower they get. Oh, I thought that hit. They're here. No, they're not. Imagine if the Ludens hit him. Seraphine stole the dragon. <laughs> My turret gold. Nice. I like that it shoots them when they're outside the the range of it. They walk out. This champion would be perfect if he had one more one more long range spell on like his E. Trying to snipe with his ult. Yeah, if he had like a long range spell on his E, he'd be perfect. Because then you could set up. But he'd be too broken if he had that. Because then you could set up CC from far away. And then just burst him from far away too. They really, they have to be CC'd if you want to hit your ult. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
It doesn't go far, and it's slow. Let's see? Too slow. Speed jump. Act on inspiration when it strikes. Hey, look, we're the same champion. If I had the snow skin that makes me like blue, I look just like him. something. I think he's dead. Wow! Okay. Oh, he's 0 and 5. Oh, I almost got her. Oh. So cool, I feel like I'm weaving spells. Oh, <laughs> she went through me. Boom! Oh, am I dead? This feels really fluid. It's all over. He gets to me. I create the quiet. Give me DP back. All right, I would go next. Probably a Shadow Flame or a Death Cap. I actually think a Death Cap might be better than a Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame might be better like later on. Blotted with ash. Enemy double kill. Maybe not. Execute. Nice. But I mean, I'm going to deal so much more damage with a death cap, too. Oh, execute could work on this guy, but I mean. You're going to be laning, and this fire spell for wave clear hits enemy champions a lot, and it's just really easy to poke people, so Comet's good for that. That spell doesn't give vision. There's the Baron. My mouse is not going to die. I charged it yesterday. This guy does have very clear weaknesses, though. Assassins completely destroy him. He doesn't really have peel versus assassins. I know he has his fear and all that, but if an assassin's on you, they're going to burst you before you can really do anything. His shield also really doesn't shield a lot. That's why I rarely use it. They're around. Oh, 
Speed. Get me out. Oh, I should have dropped... Oh, I did hit her. Okay. I, I was going to say, I should have dropped the W with that for the sentry root. So does that only root one person, or does it root them all? An ally has been slain. I don't know where they went. You can cancel any spell. Oh wow. I think that was a turret shot. I thought that Aphelios auto attacked at like quarter of his HP bar. Try new items on Vagar. No, I haven't played Vagar yet, but I will try new items on him soon. When others Your turret has been destroyed. He's on the list. He's gonna be really good with the new items. Um, I almost have death count. Where'd he go? I just whiffed. Ow. Darn, if I was able to get one more spell off before my ult hit, or before I died, she would die. Uh, I can sell my ring. Actually, I'll get 50 gold by the time I spawn. Okay, I, miss, I missed that uh, fear on her, so I just am dead. I should have went for a little easier spell. I actually didn't think Kaiser was going to do that much damage to me, though. She took it pretty quick. I can TP in 10 seconds. Ooh, a bunch of those things there. No, mana actually isn't bad on him once you get one mana item. Well, I am taking Biscuits and Mana Flow, too. But late game mana actually doesn't feel too bad. It's just sometimes you'd like a little bit more haste. But if you build haste, you really don't do any damage. Like, he doesn't have a dash. That's why assassins destroy him, too. You have this speed up, but if you use this, then you don't get your shield or your extra damage. It's good for chasing people or running away. Oh, Leona ulted behind me, so I flashed and it's still hit me. Oh, but they did the hit a I didn't get my fire off. I got stunned when I was selecting it, and I think it just didn't go off the right way. I think we'll do Shadow Flame next. Get that extra damage when they're low. But yeah, if you don't have people to stand in front of you and peel and whatever, it's pretty hard to do stuff, because I'm squishy. I don't have too much peel. I can peel myself, but like three people like that and a Leona. Like, I can't peel a tank, really. If she's going to flash and ult me, not much I could do. Do his little fingers. Got a lot of hands. But if you're grouped up with your team, pretty powerful. She dead. We got grubs. I want to spawn some grubs. Is this shield only champions? Yeah. I want these. That 
was like overkill. I don't even think my ult did damage to him. He just died. But okay, so I, I know how to use this. I just use it on top of me when they're they're going for me. Can it do multiple? Nearest visible? No, it's only one. So if like three people are chasing me, it's not gonna save me. Nice fire dragon. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot when she's full HP, but if she's below half, it starts to hurt. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, it's the second one. My god, it does triple damage based on missing health, based on how low they are. I gotta wait for a little bit of gold if you guys are listening still or watching. Could you please hit the like button and subscribe or check if you're subscribed. If you're already subscribed, then give yourself a pat on the back. Life has to be valued. Speed. This guy's what Aphelios should have been. Helios, you should have been able to select his guns with each ability or whatever, and then they just, I don't know, like, somebody's just really screwed up Aphelios' kit. Mm, I can put this in front of her. It's the only spell that's gonna be in range of her right now, though. An enemy has been slain. I think this guy's gonna have like a super low win rate though on release, but he is, he's not terrible. But I think they are, they are gonna buff him, I can. Like, they already just buffed him, but I think they're going to buff him again when he's live because people are going to run it down on him. Because, like, assassins will run him over. A heart's bared isn't broken. It's free. Oh! oh. How much does my QQ do? 675 plus 8% max health. Wow, this is 304 magic damage per second, but it only lasts 2 seconds. So. I haven't even seen set all game. And he's dead. Oh, I thought it was gonna root him. He was literally in the circle and it shot a minion instead. It's a scam. Oh my damage. And down they fall. I don't want to fight him one more time. When I get my shadow flame. I get TP back in. I mean, I guess I could just build a rocket belt on him if I wanted to dash. It's kind of hard to fit that in though. If, uh... I mean, I only have one more buy here. Why don't I just get an alternator for more damage? Well, I have flash, but it is going to be difficult getting that Leona off of me. If I hit him. 
Gotcha. Damn, she's fast. <laughs> she got behind me. That quick. It missed my fear again. I thought she was just going to run through here, but she, she went for a snipe into ult instead. To be fair though, Kaiza is gonna destroy any mage in a fight like that if they don't hit their CC. If if I did hit CC on her though, I could probably one shot her, so it's a pretty fair fight. Was that Infernal Soul? No. I want a blue pot. Well, I can go get it now. Might as well. How much is my alt dealing? Okay, so it does 110 magic damage per second for how many seconds? Three seconds. So that's 330 damage or whatever. And then... Each stack of Dark Despair slows by 10%. Once it explodes, it does 1,000 damage. Okay. Maximum damage possible is 1,368. Now it's probably 1445. This all hits really hard. It's just hard to land in the right situation. I hit someone I'm going in. Oh, I didn't hit. What did I hit? Oh, yeah, Hourglass. I did hit him. I gotta be careful. Kaiza can... If she hits W on me and ults, I'm dead. I killed the boxes. Oh, I didn't know she was that low. An enemy has been slain. Oh, got her. Well, it's only Leona and Silas. If Leona's over here. Ah, I got the shield. No, I was just CC'd for two hours though. I got Silas or something. <laughs> I put the shield too far away from me. Well, I have TP up if they can't end here. Hey, Leona did a lot of damage to me though. What does she have? What item? Oh, Sunfire. What is this? Next attack is enhanced. I think this is what hit me hard. Dude, the support items are actually really strong now. Oh, you're not killing her. Didn't get to use it, but I'm gonna buy it. If you guys enjoyed the Huey video, make sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. I already asked you earlier, but if you didn't, you can still do it. And also, let me know in the comments below if you think I'm going to play this champion for more than a week. <laughs> and uh, what if you think he's good or not. Like, I was decently fed that game, but it was still easy for me to die. He's not like these cookie cutter assassins they release where you can just press, like, you can mash your buttons and one shot everyone. So I feel like maybe not too many people are going to main him because he's hard, but a lot of people are going to play him because he's unique and cool. 
did 444. I mean, that's an Alawi fighting a tank top, so she was just farming damage. I did do a lot of damage compared to everyone else, though. Rune stats. 2,500 on Comet in 35 minutes is decent. I mean, I tried first strike on him. I didn't really like it. I haven't tried harvest, but I feel like you need mana flow and stuff. Gathering Storm's good. I like the triple tonic. Otherwise, you could take the free boots and get an item quicker. I'm not sure which one's better. This one might be better now because you get that as skill point. Which adds a lot of damage. I don't think the skill point goes towards an alt, though. But still, having a basic ability get an extra, like, 30, 40 damage is nice. Yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.